Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Mandatory Social Interaction Show. My name is Ben, and I'm here with my wonderful co-host, Tim. Hello. So how are you doing today? It's uh, been a week. Um, yeah, it has been a week. Oh, I'm creepers. doing all right. Oh, uh, yeah, they're creepers. They're just kind of <laughs> hanging out, aren't they? Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm I realize I don't close. have a bow. Can they ex- oh, they'll explode. Don't. Oh, well... Yeah. Welcome back to the Mandatory Social Interaction Show, where Tim blows up most of our... Oh my god. Well, now we have something to do. <laughs> I did that. Yep, good job. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't care. I think, um, I think the only things we were planning on doing today, aside from fixing our uh, abode, <laughs> is um, we were going to go find some cows. Yes, that was the the idea, was the cow hunt. So. Uh, there's a zombie that has breached the perimeter, so we'll have to fix that. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Well, so yeah, it has it has been quite the week, so, um, you know, that's just indicative of everything that's been going on this week. Yeah, the la- last night, I, I'm, I, am, I am combating the end result of a hangover right now. Um, not a nasty one, it's just... Um, like there's there's like two types of hangover, the one that like gives you a really nasty headache and you just feel like you just you want to die, like you don't want to be involved ever again with life. Like you're just <laughs> like I'm finished with this, I want to go home, that type of thing. Um, so pretty much I had the the other kind, which was the non-headache, but you still kind of feel like you're dragging, mm-hmm. kind of feeling, and that's kind of where I've been all freaking day. And uh, was there yeah. some kind of celebration? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, a new guy started at work um, oh. in our in our department, and uh, my boss likes to take us out to celebrate and welcome the new guy in and stuff like that whenever that happens. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, it was a lot of fun, and um, I mean, he's he's a good good guy, and he's really nice. And uh, I mean, I had a really good time. I'm just I overdid it because I I had a I had like four beers um, of varying percents, one of which was a uh, sixteen. Oh my god, sixteen point nine ounce. Uh, seven percent and the others were all the typical 12 ounce between five and seven percent (laughs) and then i went home i mean of course i I waited until i I, you know felt better um you know sobriety wise because you want to drive safe right oh yeah um once i got home i had a couple more while i was streaming what is wrong with you i'm an idiot (laughs) so i hit that i hit that wall like real hard um that mythical wall where you uh, are just like, okay, well, it's bedtime. Either I'm going to pass out right here on stream or I'm going to stop streaming and go lay down. Yeah. And uh, so I just kind of ended stream a little early yesterday and uh, um, I was playing a little Overwatch. And uh, yeah, I just, I overdid it a little bit. And it happens. I mean, I'm, <laughs> it was stupid of me. But I mean, I, I, I don't really... I don't really hit the sauce that often, like maybe maybe once a week, if that. So it was kind of nice to unwind and let loose a little, and I don't have to pay for the beer for once. So oh, I hear you. Beer's expensive. That's like one it, of the main it, reasons why I dr- don't drink. Especially when you, yeah, especially when you go to bars, it gets really expensive really fast. So, um, uh, you know, shout out to my boss for being awesome. But oh, I'm uh, getting hit by something. Like my game. You need my help, or are you alright? No, I just like something attacked me, and I clicked you, off you the. You good? Clicked off Minecraft. Yeah, I'm Everything fine. Everything good? It's all fine. I went to adjust my music <laughs> volume in the background, and like a uh, spider jumped on yeah, my head. Yeah, so I, I just I kind of kind of pushed it too hard, unfortunately. Oh, that's but too much. Um, yeah, you know, lesson learned. Oh, microphone oh. activated. I'm dumbass. I muted my microphone somehow. <laughs> I was wondering why you weren't talking. I was, I like, was talking. <laughs> It's like Ben, you're you're quiet, dude. You I must okay? have, I must have hit the wrong button. I was like, okay, what happened was, I realized my music was too loud, so oh, I, okay, I tried okay. to click off Minecraft into the thing, and I got attacked by a spider like immediately. So I frantically tried to click back on, but somehow I hit a keyboard combination to mute my microphone, <laughs> and then yeah, uh, it sounds like a uh, a comedy of errors there. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> I still feel like the volume's too loud. But now I'm getting attacked again. I should not alt tab. <laughs> what is wrong with this place? Okay. Um so <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that that was kind of uh that was my day. My whole day was like honestly, I was just struggling to stay like 
stay focused and not like pass out because I just was in that mode of like just I need I my body was just like please just go to sleep <laughs> and my I'm just like I can't I gotta work so they wouldn't let you take a half day. Uh, I'm I'm trying to save my half days, oh, my, yeah. my days of work because uh, the wife and I have a big like super secret vacation we're planning on doing next year. Well, it's not Ooh. really super secret, but we want to go to Japan, so that's kind of ah, our nice. our goal. But we want to go like for like three weeks, so I got to save all of my PTO for <laughs> and a lot of money. So oh yeah, I can imagine that gets pretty expensive pretty fast. Yeah, so that that's kind of like the target right now. Um, so I, I gotta save, you know, all of my days for that. Oh man, are we out of meat? I need to go kill a chicken or two. Uh, we have plenty of chickens over here. You wanna... Oh. Hmm? You wanna pick off a couple for me? Oh, sure. This is what you were made for! That's kinda crazy. Yeah, like, yeah that, that's enough. I just need a few so that when we're exploring for cows, because we'll, we'll kill a few cows while we're out there, or pigs or whatever we see for, for food. We sh should have some cooked ones down here in our, ch or in our furnace grid, but maybe those got moved. Yeah. Yeah, they, I think everything's There's been some pretty thoroughly the bottom middle one. Oh, really? I've been sitting there for oh, a, sweet. a month and a half. Don't care. <laughs> pork chops are pork chops, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. Um, let me make this pickaxe, and then I'll be good to go. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really know where we can go for... For uh, cows? We're just going to be kind of wandering a little bit. Um, we need wheat, so I'm going to grab a little bit of wheat. We don't need to feed it to them. I just need enough to feed yeah, them. Yeah, and I, I have some. We just need two, right? So. Yeah, All I right, have well, eight. Are you ready? I I'm ready to so. head out. I'm gonna grab okay, these cool. chickens and then uh, we can gonna go. be an adventure. It will be an adventure. So, um, you got any plans this weekend? Uh, Oops. not a bunch. I um have a couple small things to do. Well, I have a lot of things to do. Like I've I've started doing a Ben gets stuff done stream. I don't know if I've. I saw that, that. you did like five hours worth of streaming. It was yeah, awesome. so it's basically just I have this huge to do list of of shit I didn't get to during the week. So uh -huh. it's like an excuse for me to sit down and not get distracted and um, just get things done, really. I mean, it's a pretty little literal representation of what I'm doing, the title is. Yeah. So sometimes it's graphic design, sometimes it's music stuff. Um, right. Sometimes I play games, but not very often anymore. Like, when I first started, I played games like every couple hours because... Where'd you go, Ben? I lost you. Uh, I'm over here, to your back. To your right, and I apologize if you hear a beep in the background. The Behind battery you. on my the battery you. backup. Looking around. Well, I'm hey, there's a chicken. Oh my God! You ran the wrong way. Take a right. My right? Yes, you're right. Stage oh, there right. You okay. There you go. All right, um, stage right so... is the other way. <laughs> so yeah. So the um, if you hear a beeping, my battery backup for my internet. Uh, is it doing that, that again? The company is installed. Yeah, because we, we have a lot of power outages here um, just by virtue of living in Florida. Um, so uh, it, it every once in a while it trips and then refuses to stop beeping. And I have to call support and it's always like a two or three hour fiasco because you have to wait for someone to pick up and, you know, blah, blah, blah. It just takes forever to get through it. So of all the menus and automation and, and stuff you have to do. Yeah, and is that just like brownouts due to everybody running their AC? No, no, it's just storms. It just rains every day. Uh, oh. Big thunderstorms roll through. Um, so, yeah, we have a lot of thunderstorms here. I mean, like literally every day it, it rains uh, yeah. in the summer, which I mean is, is hey, fine. Cow. Um, I mean, it's really good. Because Cows, we, we found them. Holy crap. Wow, there's several. All right, come here, cow. Okay, Ooh. I made one friend. That was fast. Yeah, I, I, I thought this was going to be most of the episode. Yeah. There's I a village over there, too. I'm going to try to collect. Go. Yeah. Collect Bring more cows. cows. Come on, little buddy. Bring the cows. Come on. Yep. Now we just have to remember how to get home. Uh, I don't know if they'll follow me into the water. Hey, they will. Sweet. Yeah, they... Uh, I guess we have enough. It, it just rains a lot here, which, I mean, you expect in Florida. It's just unfortunate that... Uh, um, you know, our power also is a little a little dodgy sometimes. Yeah. 
though. Well, that's too bad. I it's been it's been very pleasant here today, which is a, a new thing over the past couple of weeks, because uh, it's been very very hot and very very humid. So I'm I'm glad that I can actually open the windows for once. Um, so, that's good. Yeah, yeah we yeah. we don't have pleasant days during the summer. It's always ninety five plus. So yeah, it's about in the seventies now. It's very oh, that's nice. It's very reasonable for once. Okay, well, it looks like you collected all the cows, and I just have one now. That's okay. Ha, ah, they're mine! <laughs> you cow thief! They're mine now! <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll just run an inter interference if somebody if somebody tries to get away. How do we get back to the, the I think house? you're going the right direction. Just keep going. Keep going the way you're I going. I just need to get to a high spot. Okay, yeah, how about wanna, how about wanna... I find, find which yeah, way to go? I have you, to move a little slow. You keep mo moving the way you were. I'm pretty sure it's the right way. It's gonna have to go I'm trying the water, to yeah. I'm trying to avoid going through the water if I can, so yeah. I'm gonna leave them around. Nope, there's no way it's it's gonna get avoided. It's cool. come cows. Boom with me. Yep, so it's it's basically right over this hill. I don't think they like swimming over deep water, so it's gonna be yeah. a, a hard challenge to keep them entertained. Okay, well I'll come back. Look at the wheat! They just swim so slow. Yeah. Stupid yeah. animals. I want you for your delicious, delicious meats. And leather. And leather. You're going to be several books. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Come on, guys. Come on, get on the land. You can do it. There you go. One. Two. <laughs> I'll get the stragglers. Oop. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Hey, cow, I'm in front of you. Look at me. Okay. There you go. Here we go. We did it. Hey, it's the great cow migration. He does not seem very interested in me. I had to shove him. All right, wait, here we go. Come on, moo cows. They like you. Come with me if you want to live or not. No, they're not coming. I think they're scared. Let's make baby cows then. <laughs> Come on. There hey, we go, we got the it. The whole family, it. the whole herd is moving. I feel like a cattle rancher. A little bit. Uh, is there anything exciting going on for you um, right now? Like any, I know you. You. We already kind of went over your the, the weekend. Or at least on. the first yeah. part of my weekend. It's yeah. You got anything else going on this weekend, or is that? Eh, probably Pokemon. Uh, um, yeah. Nice. I know that uh, I, I work at a bank or a U.S. bank, and they. I just, see the house. Oh, cool. Oh, it's on the right way. Um, and they just finished building a stadium recently so there's like a family tour going on um at the students at the stadium so uh, i'm planning on taking like my dad and my wife and my friend there and that's cool. kind of hanging out and because it's it's a really beautiful looking stadium i've just never been there and i don't really go i'm not a much of a sports guy so yeah me either i'm just uh hey look cool building so that that's pretty much it for me. It's like, oh, let's look at the architecture for a little while and maybe yeah. get some food. Um, <laughs> but then, yeah, it's basically just going to oh, probably play Pokemon. Uh, you lost several of them. Oh, I thought you were working on them. They're losing interest in me for some unknown reason. Well, they like me, except for this that one. That one doesn't. That one's like, oh, don't Whoa. scare it. <laughs> I guess that's what it takes. Well, I'm going to bring <laughs> these back. I mean, All right here, get this one, too. Get the third one. We just As need well. we just need two. All right, you get them all, and I will try to get these <laughs> ones. Come with me, Mukau. I'm gonna kill that one. Yeah, whatever. Stop running. <laughs> okay. So, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, I have a little bit of work to do tomorrow. Um, unfortunately. Oh, that's right. But, I have uh, to work tomorrow too. I can't forget yeah. about that. Um, but <laughs> it's not much. It's just a, a server restart, so it's not like I'm I'm working hard. It's just waiting for the DBAs to do something. So <laughs> yep, that's so, that's yeah. pretty much what I'm doing. I'm having some issues here with pathfinding. There yeah, we go. Yeah, they they are they are not very smart animals. I got the little calf though, so we're coming back. Um, yeah, but other than that, I'm just kind of chilling out. I know what I'm not doing, and that's that's not seeing Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, I have not heard good things about that. It has received a 27% from over 200 critics on Rotten Tomatoes. Hmm. 
So that right there is a sign to me that I am not going to be very interested oh. because I'm, I'll be straight with you, I am not a big DC fan. I'm not. I'm really, I just, DC is not my bag of, my bag of chips, you know? Yep. All right, I got two of them in here. Well, you oh, gotta, is it, is you it gotta in here in this paddock? Okay. Easy peasy. Oops. You put your weed away, otherwise they're gonna follow when you leave. Okay, we gotta get those guys. Yeah, I um. Actually, right before we started recording this, I uh, watched like the movie Sins on Batman v Superman. Which oh boy. I'm not a really big fan of the movie Sins like series, but. They, well, I love the movie Sin series when they started, but they've gotten to the point where they're just mean. Like, they, they don't even say, like, they used to, like, be funny, but now they just, like, say really mean things about the movies. Like, they did it to Star Wars, and it was, like, the, the least... Like, because Star Wars is a classic. You can't say Star Wars is a shit film. I don't uh -huh. care who you are. You know, it's, Star Wars is a classic, but they were just mean about it. And, I mean, the... Um, the uh, Rift Tracks guys did the same thing, um, which I love Rift Tracks. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. I love what they do. Yeah, they're great. But they were just mean about the films. I was like, really, guys? Like, I understand you don't you don't like certain aspects of it, but, like, seriously. It's... This oh, guy's, oh, like, stuck in the wow. game. Wow, okay. Hold on. My video just flickered for a second there. We're all right. We're good. We're okay. Um, oh. Whoa. Oh, you freaked him out. That's He's fun. on a rampage. Okay. Are you going to pay attention now? Come on. Sometimes they just lose interest. Yeah, you fine. Have to you stay in here then. Shove them around a little bit. I got the little cap again. Now you live in here. You can't go anywhere anyway. Come on, calf. There we go. All right. I'm out. Okay, but uh, but yeah, Suicide Squad. Like apparently they say that um, Jared Leto as Joker is awful, and there's like some some. Uh, from what I read, and I mean I haven't seen the film, so I can't profess yeah. to know everything for a fact, but. I read a lot of the reviews because, you know, I, I, I often take critic reviews with a grain of salt because with video games, it's, it's you know, that whole, um, they're often more biased than they should be. They usually will inject their political agendas into certain things. Um, so I, I usually take game reviews with a grain of salt. And I tend mm -hmm. to do the same thing with, with movie reviews. But once you've read, you know, 30 or 40 <laughs> movie reviews that all kind of say the same thing, um, just in, you know, different ways... It, you got to be onto something, right? Yeah. Um, and you know, you you read the uh, the 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 comments to the review and things like that, and it's just like they just say like like the stupidest things. They're just like, oh well, you know, um, this guy has obviously never watched a comic book film, and you know, like <laughs> all the like these the super edgy like I'm a I'm a I'm a bigger comic book fan than you kind of stuff. And it's like uh, the fanboys like come out in droves with this stuff. So it's it, it gets hard to separate, you know, the the false positive reviews um, mm -hmm. from users. So I, you know, with certain things, you kind of have to go by critic reviews. And I mean, like two, over two hundred critics. I mean, these are pay people paid to watch films and talk about them, and it's at twenty seven percent. Yeah, that's, that's a low that's score. That's more telling that, than anything that is, else. Yeah, that's not a. That's oh, behind you. There's a spider coming after you. He's what mad. What is wrong with our town? But um, like, how are they getting in? Oh well, spiders can climb fences. Oh, they can climb okay. walls and fences, well, so that, you you can't really worry about that. <laughs> but you need um, a bigger wall. <laughs> no, they can climb any size wall, man. <laughs> nope. They're they're tricksy, but like, it just. It's not endemic of, like, the desire to shut down a film if over 200 people... Well, the the vast majority of over 200 people say it's terrible or bad. Yeah. Or, I mean... Like, because some of them were, like, seemed pretty objective. They were, like, two stars, two and a half stars out of five. And, you know, that sort of thing is like, yeah, you know, I, I guess... I guess I can understand that, um, but the ones that give it like a one, uh, you know, it's just like eh, I don't, I don't know how, how much you can appreciate that because that's a really low score to give anything. Like, yeah, it it can't be that bad because it's a multi million dollar production. Like, if it was some crappy indie film, maybe a one would be appropriate. But like, I don't think any film made in Hollywood outside of like really terrible, like absolutely awful films is worth giving that low of a score. <laughs> but that's just me. I don't know. I could be talking yeah. out of my, my badonk. But. Oh, whatever. And I've never really understand stood like the five-star system anyway, just because it's not very granular. I don't know. 
There's well, been a lot of just, talks it's on just, that. Yeah, it's just so it's it's very arbitrary and it's based on your own personal experience. And if people don't know you, they don't know your personal experience. So yeah. what is that one in comparison to? Did you like give Avengers a one because you don't like comic book films, or did you give Avengers a five because it was a solid good film, or <laughs> you know blah blah blah? You just don't know unless you have some kind of context. There's too many skelly mans. Um, yeah, I'm running away from there <laughs> right now. But yeah, so I, you know, you have to take them with a grain of salt. But like that many people saying that it's it's an awful film um, is is a bit telling. And um, interestingly, yeah. like there's apparently some out outright like blatant like um, racism and oh, boy. sexism, like actual like rampant sexism. And again, I haven't seen the film, so I'm just. You know, I'm just going by what I what I've what I've read, and and you know, because that's all I can go by. That's my only point of reference. But you know, I'm not gonna go. I don't. I'm not a big DC fan, so I'm not gonna jump on a DC film unless it's got really good reviews. Like yeah. I, I made that mistake with Man of Steel, and that was one of the worst experiences <laughs> I have ever been. That was one of the worst films I think I've seen in a while. And I mean, it, it's not like like unwatchably bad but like in the context of the character of superman which i don't really like that much because i think superman is such a childish childish fantasy yeah he he's very one-dimensional both yes just in general and in the movie i i did see man of steel like i honestly i mostly saw man of steel because i thought the soundtrack sounded good and i was just like the soundtrack was good and i I mean the visual presentation was good but Oh my god, like, just the fact that they changed the way his character is, like, one of his big things is he doesn't kill people, right? Uh-huh. Except he's throwing the enemy through buildings, he's, he's getting thrown through buildings, and people are like, oh, the, the buildings are empty. That's impossible. Yeah. In a big city like that, people work all the time. Like, <laughs> I get emails at, like, 1 a.m. from people in my time zone still working at night. Yeah, and but it's they're, like people they're at are home and they're not, in, they're not in the buildings. So. Yes, but business people gonna be business people and they are gonna be there. Or janitors or whatever. You're not gonna clear out that many buildings. You can't. There's not enough manpower in the world to clear out that many buildings in such short notice. Yeah. No, I I know. So, it's, it's ridiculous, but there's so many people out there that complain. It's like, oh, well, what if there was people in those buildings? What were... And yeah, of course. And they have to start addressing that. And it just... Right. I think that it actually makes the the movie less immersive when they're basically just like giving themselves an excuse it's like oh well they're not bad guys because they're destroying this stuff they're just fighting right and you guys would just want to see the fighting and we don't want to kill anybody right and it's yeah it, and it, it was it was well part of my problem too is Zack snyder overall i mean he's the guy who, who i think directed man of steel um yes and uh I think he so. also did batman vs superman and he did um uh he did did he do Donna Justice? I don't know if he did Donna Justice. That I don't know. But he did this film. And um, my big issue is... Well, D- Batman vs. Superman was Donna Justice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. Sorry, I, d- I don't concern myself too much with that. But the dude the dude is, like, was a good director. He did, like, V for Vendetta, I guess. And oh. um, he also did... Um, I think The Watchmen was another DC property he did. Um, but... I mean, Man of Steel was just an awful experience, and he's, I just feel, and he, like, here's how he justified it, okay? And he didn't even deny that people were killed um, in in Man of Steel by Superman. He's like, he's like, well, in Star Wars they kill people. They blow up entire planets. And I'm like, but Star Wars doesn't have a no-killing clause. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Superman's thing is he doesn't, he wants to preserve life. I mean, I mean, people in the comments can correct me if I'm wrong because I don't, again, I'm not a big DC fan, so I could be just completely wrong. But like, from my understanding, he just doesn't do that. That's not his thing. I mean, he's like Batman; he does not kill people. He's there to preserve life and um, bring people to justice, but do it without murdering people or, or killing people. Yeah, and so, it's not like there's some code for the Jedi or whatever. It's like you can't kill people who are bad. Right, and killing is an intrinsic part of the Star Wars lore because it reinforces the severity of the actions that are done because the Jedi don't like to kill people but they'll do it if they have to Yeah. and and, um, the Empire it just shows how little regard the Empire has for for life so it's a pretty I mean it's a pretty powerful thing in my view and um, you know saying that oh well you know we don't we you know we're okay with killing we're okay to kill people because um, 
because Star Wars did it. That's yeah. a stupid argument, and you should feel bad for even thinking that. Because yeah, yeah. well, it's if not, it's the core it's element of your apples. character, you can't you can't just be like, well, they didn't do it, so we can, yeah, yeah. It's stupid. Exactly. Yes. It's idiot. And that was that was my feeling. Exactly. I was just like, oh, you shut up. You know, like <laughs> like you you're just justifying your your bad directorial decisions. <laughs> so yeah, mad. I just I felt like there was no. And this is kind of something that happens with all Superman films. There's just no like, there's no danger. Death. There's no yeah, danger. There's, there's no drama. It's just Superman because, being like, "Oh, well, I'm good at everything, so oh, just wait here terrible, and I'll take care of it." Terrible green rocks. I am in so much pain. Yeah. And it's like, no, this is boring. And that's what I don't. That's my big issue with with Superman is is that I just find him so painfully boring <laughs> his comic books are boring and i've tried to read them i honestly have uh the tv shows have all been boring i mean they're not like terrible like i like the dean kane superman like i used to watch that when i was younger but even that is just like good for you you're a boy scout correct you know <laughs> like it's just it's just unimpressive to me it, it really is so yeah i don't know i just i uh, Suicide Squad just is not appealing to me at all. Um, now, speaking of yeah, Batman in general, I got a copy of the Telltale Batman game. Ooh. And now, again, I'm not a big Bat fan. I'll be the first to tell you, but I think it gives me a unique perspective because I know a lot of people that play it play it because of their nostalgia, their rose tinted goggles. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think it gives me a unique perspective um, on the game to judge it based solely on story and not on the fact that Batman's like super cool guy and I think he's a pretty cool character. Oh yeah. But I don't have that fanboyism where like if he's in a if he's in a bad film or his film is bad, I'll be the first to tell you because I watched like the that Batman movie with Mr. Freeze in it at Arnold Schwarzenegger's yeah. Mr. Freeze and all that and I thought those were freaking hilarious. But. I mean, I'm not going to judge a Telltale game based on that. I'm going to judge it based on its own merit. And um, I think I think that the fact that it's a Batman game colors a lot of people's judgment. I'm not saying everybody's, but yeah. um, I think it gives me a unique a unique chance to really investigate a Batman story um, without uh, without having any real like preconceived notions as to what a Batman uh, you know story should be yeah and honestly I, I mean comparing the two I think Batman at least has some depth to his character well and that that's why that's why I like the character I really like the character he's the only DC character I truly like um, I think I think um, most of the villains are a little overrated in Batman like they're mm -hmm. kind of lame I think I think Joker's okay but I think he's overrated in a lot of ways like um, because of Heath Ledger and stuff. Hmm. And by the way, in Suicide Squad, I heard Jared Leto's in it for all of ten minutes, even though they hyped him up as like a core character. Really? And apparently, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like apparently, and apparently, he was a real d bag to his co co stars. Oh well, that's um, not acceptable. He was trying to be like, I guess. And again, this is what I read. I mean, I, I can't, you know, I I can allegedly, I'll say uh -huh. allegedly, allegedly, he was a real big d bag to his co stars, and he um. Apparently, like, he would send them, like, uh, he was trying to be, like, Edgelord, like, Heath Ledger, oh, like, really get into the character. And apparently he sent, like, dead animal carcasses by express post to his coworkers and, like, stuff like that. And apparently, like, allegedly everyone, like, hated him on set. Oh, my God. Which is probably why he only has, like, ten minutes worth of film time because <laughs> he's probably a real, a real douche nozzle and they just were like, you know what, dude, we're done with you. <laughs> so it was, it was, it was one of those things that's, like... Wow, like everybody was freaking out about how either Leto looks dumb, which I thought he looked dumb in all the, you know, the preview material, um, or everyone was like, oh, he looks so cool, he's gonna be a great Joker. Well, guess what? <laughs> apparently, everybody but like two actors in that film fall really flat, or three, because Will Smith apparently did okay. Will um, Smith. And then the, uh, yeah, Will Smith's in it. He's he plays Deadshot, which is a I guess like a super sniper is his like super villain ability or something stupid like that. Yeah. Like, it just goes to further my view that and and I don't mean to like fanboy rage or like anti fanboy rage or anything, but like just the my my whole issue with with DC is that I just feel like the characters fall so much flatter than any other 
um, than than Marvel in, in general. I mean, I, I that's my only other point of reference. I know there's other yeah. comic book com- companies out there, like I guess IDF or something like that, um, that make comics, which is fine. And uh, I'm sure I know I know DC has some good comics. It's just like their characters just aren't as deep. Like Batman's pretty deep. Like he has a lot of complexity because mm-hmm. um, his parents were murdered. Spoiler alert. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and the all, first all that, five you know, minutes of any Batman book, video game, or yes. movie. And you don't want to spoil they, that. Yeah. And they, they reference that in the Telltale game. I watched some gameplay of it to kind of get a feel for it before I, uh, um, you know, took the plunge and played it tonight. But mm-hmm. like seriously, I just. Their characters just feel so lame. Like, I think the Joker is an interesting character, but I feel like Two-Face is kind of boring. He's like a politician yeah. turned evil because he got hit in the face with acid or something. Yeah. Um, and just, like, all this stuff. And, and like, uh, the, the Penguin's just, like, a mobster guy who... You know what it is. What? They're all punny. Yeah. In various ways. Like, Two-Face, oh, he's a politician and a gangster or a bad guy. Oh, yeah. And the, that, the Penguin, true. oh, he wears a tuxedo. Yeah. It's like they're all they're all just bad puns. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even think about it that way. That might be why it bothers me. <laughs> I, I appreciate a good pun. I really love good puns that make me laugh or smile. But, like, none of the ones that they do, they're just kind of cringeworthy. Like, they're, yeah. they're like groaner jokes, like... like like dad jokes almost yeah and i think and, and i think marvel i don't know anything about superhero stuff so i think marvel yeah, I mean, kind of does I'm it the same way a little it. bit like oh look this guy has fire let's make you know whatever but i think that at some point i don't know i don't know where i was going with this i just i just feel like marvel has a lot more depth to their characters just in general yeah well and and they're even their villains though like like um oops sorry i hit a chicken in the face um like <laughs> Like, they have, like, Thanos, and um, they have, like... Uh, yeah, I um, guess they draw from, like, Dr. mythological Doom things. And, and all that stuff. Like, just these, like, really, like, interesting and compelling... Not- and, and most of their villains are super. Like, yeah. when they have a super villain, it's a super villain. Like, in Batman, and I'm, I'm just... I'm picking on Batman because I have the most familiarity with it in yeah. this regard. Because uh, a buddy of mine's a big Batman fan, and I would never say you're wrong for being a fan of something. So, <laughs> if you love Superman... Please just feel free to disagree with me. Um, and, but still, and, like, you know, comment and comment subscribe. It. Yeah, and, well, well, comment on it and let me know, like, why you feel I'm wrong. <laughs> because I love to discuss this stuff. Because oh, yeah. Because in my view, I just feel like, I, I mean, I mean, this is all, you know, my opinion, but I, I just feel like Batman villains are just kind of just lame. Like, like Two-Face, what's, he doesn't have a super ability. He uses a Tommy gun. <laughs> like, he doesn't do anything super, and Joker is, like, he doesn't have any abilities. He just uses, like, laughing gas, and and he he's very clever. Being clever is not a super ability. I mean, that's... Yeah. I'm sorry, but, like, everybody in these things is clever. That's kind of why it's a comic book. It's, it's supposed to be over the top. It's supposed to be kind of outlandish. So, I, I just don't understand, like, why Batman, like, doesn't just, <laughs> like... <laughs> Or why the police, like, they always are, like, hesitating to shoot the villains when they have them in their sights because they're like, Batman's going to come and save us or whatever. It's like, just shoot them and be done. They don't have any special abilities at all. Like, the only super villain there, I think, that has something super about them, well, there's a couple. Poison Ivy. Yeah, um, she's at, Mr. Like, Freeze, touch or something. but he even is still just a regular dude who uses, like, ice beams and stuff. And then um, uh, Bane, who is, like, genetically modified super soldier kind of thing. Um, so, there's a few, but they're really underutilized. Like, like Poison Ivy could do some real freaking damage. Like, in the Arkham games, they do a pretty good job. Like, Scarecrow, he, he's like a, he can, like, manipulate you psychically or something like that, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool. And he, like, causes hallucinations and, 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 and inflicts fear upon people and stuff like that, which I think is pretty sweet. Um, that's a pretty cool concept to me. But just overall, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm generalizing. I hate generalizing, but I am generalizing. Um, just overall, I feel like, uh, I feel like character-wise, Batman's villains are, are lame as heck. <laughs> yeah, and, and, I mean, that might be one of the main reasons why it just doesn't feel as good as something like Iron Man, where everything is, like... An encounter is more than just like two dudes like squaring off, right? Like there's more things, like there's more variables in play, right? Yeah, and I mean when when you've got um, 
characters like like Thor, who wields the power of lightning and has a hammer that like is super powerful and like outrageously heavy, but only he can wield it. And like I don't know, just like that, the whole shtick behind everything. Like Iron Man's just a dude in a suit, but his suit is what makes him special. Yeah. And um, that suit, like Batman's suit, is like in some of the stories, like in the Telltale, it's not even bulletproof. So it's like, why are you even wearing the suit? Just like run around in your underwear or something. It'll freak him out more. Like, like do do something that like would make you less prone to being shot and injured from bullets. The primary thing you're gonna fight against. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm totally like just, stuck up here. Do you need some help? Or are you good? No, there's no way you can get up here. <laughs> I uh, that huge mountain over off to the side. Mm-hmm. I uh, I'm slowly trying to climb it. <laughs> oh, I can use I can use trees for fuel. My problem is that I um, I'm running out of uh, food. Oh, uh, I so should have given like, you some of mine. I'm sorry. I no, I I had food and I think I ate it already or something. But I I remember that I can use trees for fuel. So I'm going to use that. Hey sheep. So uh, you know now that I've I've completely ragged on DC Comics for a while, I feel kind of bad. Oh, um, but. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just like such a, um, I'm not a, I, I don't hate DC Comics. I just am not a fan. I'm like the exact opposite of a fan. Like, I am exactly what you would, I am not their target audience. Like, their target <laughs> audience is anybody who loves their stuff and who wants to appreciate the characters that they've, they've developed. Because the characters, again, aren't necessarily bad. I just feel like they're a little weak overall, like, especially their villains. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm... so it just kind of boils down to that. Um, as much as, I mean, so I think with the, I keep getting kind of like, I'm kind of waffling, but it's all DC related, so I'm kind of (laughs) waffling between my topics, but I'm looking forward to playing Telltale Batman. I really am. I think it's going to be a fun, a fun thing to play. Well, it's Um, a Telltale game. Yeah, and that's just it, is I love the Telltale stories, like I really want to get my hands on, um, Tales from the Borderlands, um, and, uh, Minecraft Story Mode, because those look like a ton of fun, actually, so, actually looking forward to that. <clears throat> yeah, and I honestly have never played a Telltale, Telltale game, which is kind of a sin, it feels like. Well, in all honesty, the, the place you want to start, you want to start at um, The Walking Dead Season 1, the first season, because the... Um, but I've never seen The Walking Dead. You don't have to. I've never seen it either, but... Um, okay. Pretty, it, it's, it's, it, it, it does a good job of explaining the universe um, in, in, in a way. Like, it introduces characters that were in the show... But I don't know anything about the show, and it didn't really matter that much. Um, gotcha. It's all about character development, so you, they, they do a really good job because it's almost entirely new characters. Um, so I'm finding a ton of iron. I wish I was that lucky with diamonds. <laughs> so it, 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 that's part of it. Is like it's all about character development for them. So like if they don't immerse you, even if you don't know anything about the universe, they're doing a really crappy job. Gotcha. So Beep. yes beep yeah i'm sorry about that i don't care <laughs> uh but yeah so i'm i'm looking forward to that and uh, i mean shout out to telltale for hooking me up with a key because i'm looking forward to playing that That's you're like fun. a professional streamer now i wish i really wish i was i'm getting there though i think it, it feels like i am like like when i get when i ask for keys and i get them it's like well sweet like there's been a couple of games that i've gotten that i've played recently and i mean a lot of this is to review them but i just have not had the time or the energy to really review these games because um you know i i was talking about doing my my uh, show tim talks mm-hmm. and i recorded the entirety of my first episode and it's it's nothing what i wanted it to be so oh, i no. scrapped it yeah it, and it's not that i hate like what i produced it's just not the it's not zippy enough like yeah it doesn't clip fast enough like it kind of drags and um i don't know what to do to really bring that in so i might like consult with you to get your opinion on what i can do like later yeah sure uh, if you get a chance and just kind of pick your brain about it because like it's just it's one of those things that once i get a format down i think it'll be easy to produce new videos for it it's just a matter of getting it the way you want it right yeah. and that's that's part of the content creation challenge i guess is like figuring out how to do it and i, I feel like once i figure out one show from then on it'll be easy <laughs> like because <laughs> like the editing part is half the fun for me i love doing editing um, and stuff like Whoops. that. It's it's a good time. I just my, my problem is is coming up with a uh, a format that works for me. So mm-hmm. 
And I mean, I, I'm, it's fair enough. I mean, I know I can I can start out with something that I'm not super pleased with and refine it as I go, but I wasn't pleased with any of it. Like the way it delivered, the way it handled, it was just like really disappointing. I was just like, no, no, this is not what I, where I want to go with this. Well, yeah, like, well, have you ever felt that way? Like, it, and it's not like I was like disgusted or anything, but I just was like, well, this this would be great if I was giving a speech in front of 500 people, but I'm trying to make a YouTube video to hold a, a <laughs> constantly like dwindling attention span of an audience, you know? So you've got to kind of be- Where the hell am I? You've got to be zippy, you've got to be smart, you got to be, you know, you got to keep it tight. And I think that's my challenge right now, is yeah, figuring um, out how to keep it tight. Which might be a good topic for your uh, creative creative exploration. Keeping keep it, it tight. tight. Keeping it tight. Like um, a toy <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if you've, uh, I know I mentioned the Nerd Writer in another video, or another one of these recordings, but I think that actually viewing stuff that he's made might give you some inspiration on how to keep this stuff uh, continually, like, fresh. I don't know if I want to try this jump. Okay. I made it. Um, just because, like, his presentation and the way that he handles just conveying information might uh, might bring some inspiration to you. I think I made yeah, it. Yeah, that top. would be nice. Can you can you link me his stuff later? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I'll, he... I'll, I'll check it out. It's just... It's, it's so hard for me to find the time to really, like, hunker down and watch other YouTube content creators sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because of, like, with, with my work schedule and my stream schedule being as hectic as it is, um, like, I just, I, I want to do it right, mm -hmm. you know? And that's my challenge, is, like, I want to do it right. I don't want to just half-ass it and be like, okay, well, that's that, you know? I want yeah. then I'll then I'll never want to do it again. I want it to... I want to be, if I'm proud of it, I'm going to keep doing it. And that's why I stream as much as I do, because I'm really proud of my stream. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've been doing MSIS, because I, I'm really proud of it. I think it's a really good format, and it's a really good um, it's a really good thing for the both of us, to be honest. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah, so it, it's it's a challenge. It's it's definitely a challenge, and I'm, I'm up for it. I just need to really hunker down, get my writing sharp, get my content sharp, and, and do it right. Yeah, I completely agree. I um, I'm kind of the same way. I have this huge pile of books that I want to get to at some point. Ooh, that's and, water. And uh, that's at that at some point just means I get more books on the pile, and I'm not actually reading them. I finally made it to the top of this mountain, but it's dark out, and I don't know what I do now. So I guess I just kind of <laughs> wait. Panic. <laughs> that's what you do. Well, the sun is clipping. There's <laughs> I'm so high up that there's no ground, so the sun is like clipping through nothing to rise. <laughs> I am having the best luck right now with uh, iron. I have found so much iron. Nice. Yeah. We will not want for iron for quite some time, I don't think. Wish I had like a compass or something. But um, do we have any gold? I think we have gold. You could make a compass, gold and redstone. I stone. am not anywhere near where the gold is. Because <laughs> the compass always points to home, I think. Yeah. So um, that might be actually handy to have. Yeah, should have grabbed one of those. I'm going to wait till it's light out, though. And maps. We need to make maps. Yeah, well, now that we can make leather, we can make maps. I thought maps were just paper. Oh, you're right. I think they are. It's paper and a compass in the middle. Gotcha. So, redstone and... Gold and paper. Gold and, yeah, and paper. Huh. Well, that's another project for us, I guess. Sometimes I feel like an hour's not enough. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. And, you know, maybe someday we'll do uh, two hours of Minecraft or something. I know yeah, we're do always... A, do a double episode or something. We're do, always like, just split it. trying to find new games to play for the second hour, but sometimes I feel like we just need to play more of this to finish our world. I'm with you. I mean, like, yeah. I would like to bring in more folks to, like... Uh, yeah. I know, I know we're going to have, what, Shaka Panda next week, Shaka right? Panda, yep. Is, uh, did you uh, talk to him about the time? He said uh, yeah, 9 he's, p.m., right? Is that cool? Yeah, he should be cool with it. He's, uh, okay. he's on the West Coast, so okay, so, so it's still pretty early for him. All right, that, that works. Works for me, uh, because uh, that way I'll be able to stream, and then um, I'll still get a couple hours of streaming in. Um, and we'll have to like cut it in half, because I, I don't like interrupting my stream. I'd probably finish recording this and just go lay down <laughs> <laughs> if we started at like 7 or 8, so... At least they get to watch the sunrise. Um, I still don't know where the ground is, um, but yeah, I, I talked to him. We we I like I had him check out the server, make sure everything worked, 
talked cool. on TeamSpeak. So everything's all good there. We just gotta we just gotta find that second game. Yeah. Again. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the constant struggle, uh, I think. We might play Diablo three. I'm fine with that. I can get that installed. Um, he That's said he game. didn't have the expansion, but I don't. I think, don't either. Yeah, so. I don't think you need <laughs> the expansion to play between. Like I do, but I don't think you need it. So. Yeah, I don't think you do um, to play with friends because I'll host, and then you guys join on me, and then it'll it won't be a problem. There's a skeleton up here. It's the ultimate right, arena fight. A bunch of stuff. All right, let me get oh, some more. Uh, oh, that was close. Iron smelting. <laughs> wow, we have a buttload of iron, man. We have a ton of it. Two stacks of 64, and we'll have another stack of 64 here in a few minutes. Nice. That's pretty good. And I got a bunch of pork chops. I got 22 pork chops. Jeez, you were busy. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been busting, man. I was hoping to gather some materials for us to. My goal is, um, I'd like for us to do like some deep digs and um, uh -huh. find find a bunch of diamonds and start crafting diamond armor. Um, not using it, but crafting it so that we can enchant it and get good enchants <laughs> on them. That would be nice. Um, the primary will be diamond pickaxes with enchants and uh, diamond um, swords with enchants on them. Um, oh. And we could just do iron with enchants if we have to, but... Yeah. Yeah, I, I know really it's a lot of diamonds, so... I really don't know where so. home is. This is well, kind if, of a huge mistake. <laughs> if, you, if you get super lost, I can teleport you to me, so don't no, worry about No, that's much. cheating! Well, of course it's cheating, but you know what? Who cares? As long as we're not cheating to build our stuff, which we aren't, so... Yeah. Well, my initial... <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. My initial plan was to go all the way up to the top of this and, like, build a portal, or a, a portal to nether. Right. And I realized that I don't have flint and steel on me, so I can't do that anyway. Dang it. And then I almost starved <laughs> to death on my way up here. Oh, that sucks. This was not an expedition that I particularly planned for. <laughs> um, but I think at some point, like, this huge mountain would be cool to, like, build up on. Right. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go safe now. breed some cows real fast. Breed some cows. I know Love there's a other. waterfall around here somewhere, and if I can find the waterfall, I can just jump in that and, like, glide down. Right. Yeah. yeah. This way. Lots making, of cows. Making cow babies. Making cow babies. We got plenty of wheat growing. I think we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, we could probably um, expand our farm out a little bit, but really, that's not a huge. I think I think um, expanding our paper production would be good. Yeah. Um, just because we're gonna need a lot of books. <laughs> I'll work on that. Takes a lot of books. And I'm going to collect some eggs and see if I can't hatch us some more chickens. You can use eggs for other stuff, can't you? Uh, it's only really used in like the like for cakes and stuff. Gotcha. Looks really like not a that useful. Castle over there or a tower? Oh, that was very close. Hey, I'm hatching little babies all over the place. I'm gonna go over this way. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. As always, it's Friday, and it's like, yep. I'm so tired. This whole week has been so busy. Um, Where did you come from? I've been working on the whole creative exploration series. I've been thinking about trying to just record all four or five of them, like right at the beginning of the month, so I don't have to think about it anymore. Right. But I'm realizing that's a very bad idea because it just puts my brain into overload, and I don't get anything done. Mm. So I'm. I might do it this month, but I think future months I will not. Right. I found a town. Nice. Oh yeah, I don't I'm have emeralds. Harvesting some wheat right now. Oh, I can give him paper to get emeralds. Well, that might be good. Because those emeralds can be used to um, trade for other stuff, so. Yeah, all these guys give you emeralds. Your cow. Aren't there, like, treasure chests you can loot in this place? Or is that not recommended? Oh, uh, yeah, don't don't loot them because it makes them angry. Okay. It I makes guess. the villagers angry and they won't trade with you anymore. At least that's what the way it used to be. I don't know if that's still the way it is, but... I would assume it is. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me if it is. 
Oh man, I need this. I need to just a, a relaxing, <laughs> chill out game. Like I'm almost tempted. I mean, I, I I've already said I'm gonna play Telltale tonight, but like I'm I'm tempted to just like just scrap it and play City Skylines. You need <laughs> to so teach relaxing. me how to play Skylines. Okay, I can do at that at some sometime. point. Yeah. Um, because I um, I have it, and I've I've started like five or six towns, and they've all just gone nowhere. Yeah, so. it's it's very slow to start, anyways. Like you you'll run out of money or go bankrupt. Yeah. So happens to happens to the best of us. Okay, so I'll work on uh, expanding the paper production. I can see our house, so I'll head back that way. Okay. That was a very yeah, fruitless been... adventure. <laughs> <laughs> eh, you know it happens. Yeah. Did you have fun doing it? Oh yeah, it was cool. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's all that matters. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I've got. I picked up ten sugarcane. Where's the uh, sugarcane at in here? Uh, I think it's on the left hand side, under food. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Wow, well, we've got a good amount already. Yeah, yeah. I've been. That's I've good. been trying to grab it when I see it, but we need. Oh, more. we got pumpkin seeds. I don't what? remember that. We got pumpkin seeds. What? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna till up some more land because that's awesome. I'm gonna help expand the farm. Okay. You have a bucket. I need to make a bucket. I have a bucket. There's actually a bucket in the um, in our storeroom somewhere. Let's see where it is then. Is it under tools or uh, nope. Uh, Weapons and armor. Nope. Yeah, we need a we need a bigger um, a bigger fence. <laughs> God, Davis did a really good job on this uh, on this room. Yeah, he did. Pretty good. Oh, found the bucket. Yeah, there's another bucket in there too. So sweet. Well then, I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on this. Let me get dirt. I've got dirt. We're good to go. I think that's dirt. Is that dirt? I, uh, yeah, I'm expanding dirt. the fence. Um. So good yeah, time to do I, it. yeah, it's a good time to do it. I don't know. Like, it's just been so crazy busy, and um, I know it's like self-inflicted, so I can't complain too much. But it's it's uh. It's hard being busy sometimes, like... I'm with you. Sometimes I just want to sit down and play video games. Yeah, and I'm, I, I'm the same way. And, um, I mean, even... To be perfectly honest with you, sometimes I just, like... I don't, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> like, sometimes I just want to sit down and just watch TV or... Yeah. You know, do, do nothing at all. That's... Those are those are the most dangerous days because like I love streaming. I love my my uh, my chat and everything. And I know I say that like every episode, but it's, mm -hmm. it's true. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, it's like I just those are the dangerous days because I I, I don't necessarily not want to stream. It's just sometimes the energy and um, of actually <laughs> doing it is not there. Ah, ah it's the vomiting dirt. Do you need it? Back, heathen, back. All right, we gotta find like a source of water here. Uh, there's some over back where we herded cows. So where there's right. dirt and there's coarse dirt? What the hell's the difference? I need to look up how to make a well, because apparently there's a way to make a well with uh, oh. infinite refill spots. Oh, so, I can. I think I remember how to do that. Yeah, I don't know if it's still valid, because I know they change stuff every patch, but... I think it's as simple as making a uh, spot with, like, four um, yeah. side by side that goes, like, two or three deep or something. So I'm gonna try that real quick and see how that Oops. how that works. That's not what I wanted to do. We should probably go out and get pigs next episode. Yeah, there were some pigs on the um. On yeah, the I killed a bunch. Oh, okay. So uh, not on the mountain, but uh, over to over that way, I guess, because we, we don't have compasses yet, <laughs> which we can do next episode as well. We should do like maps and compasses and all that stuff. Administrative stuff. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> adventuring gear. That's what I was looking for. Um, all right, let me make this well real fast. Uh, I'll, I need a four by four spot that's not like in the way. Everything's in the way. I'm making a I big know. mess. I know. All right, I'll, I'll do it over here. Actually, there's plenty of space over here, so I'll do it over here on this side of the house. Oh, that's sandstone. <laughs> oh, well, that opens up into our. Okay. Did you well. just flood our? <laughs> No, no, it just, uh, I just opened a hole in our, in our storeroom. That was my bad. I fixed it. I done fixed it. <laughs> Oops. Bobby. That's cool. Lesson learned. All right. Go ahead and close that. So I need to find a place. Actually, you know what? How much sandstone do I have? I could probably build it out of sandstone and just, well, and do, do stairs up to it or something. Yeah. Mm. 
Hmm. Okay. Let me grab about, some sandstone. And how about see. this? I have sandstone. Let's let's do this proper. Yeah, I think we got to build it up like four squares, three or four squares. Um. No, nope, that's not gonna be big enough there. Uh, we can do it up top. Maybe. Yeah, that would work. Well, Stupid trees, um, get out of do here. It. Why don't you do it like right up here, like right here? Okay. In the corner. Well, no, let's do it down here. Let's <laughs> do it down here. I don't care if it's in the dead center of everything. Like, let's do it like starting here, and then, um, I don't know. Is that too, too close to the stairs? Maybe. Yeah. We are not good civic planners here. We um, are. We are terrible. Yeah. Also, at some point, you need to like turn off the the world immunity for the spawn and get rid of all this stuff cuz this stuff won't break that it floating won't. that floating tree stuff yeah we can't break uh, this okay that's not yeah cuz we built like right at our spawn so yeah so yeah you can't break these okay <clears throat> no big but yeah, i, no I big noticed deal, that the other day when i was had john on don't look great doesn't look great man we got to make it look good <laughs> well yeah like like the rest of our hey our house looks great i oh, think yeah our I, house I, looks I'm great i'm the way it's coming the the fence is not so good. We need to really work on that. What? <laughs> but look how it zigzags, man. We want to give them like a quality of life or something. I don't know. No, no. I'm just talking about like it, it goes like really far there and then like cuts shallow and then. Oh, why? Weird, man. It's weird. I don't. I just made this. <laughs> I know. I know. I appreciate it. I'm not giving you your go. criticism just... is hurting the stream. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so sandstone. Um, let me, yeah, let me, um, you know, it's getting dark. I don't want to work on the fence. I was going to expand the fence. Why don't we work on that next episode? We're at, um, we're at 56 minutes. Yep. Um, so I think that's an okay spot to stop. Oh, we need one more water in here, and I think that would make it work. Where at? Where are you? I'm on the other side. at the... I got the, water. No, nope, okay. We're good. Sweet. I, I fixed so it. So I'll expand the fence... Uh, next episode around this, and I'll build a nice little, like, well type thing. I'll make it look cool. Okay, I'm going to fill in these, and then we'll be good. Okay. Yeah, because what I want to do is I'll, I'll build it up so that it fills up another layer, and then you can just grab from any corner, and it should be fine. Gotcha. So I think that's how that works. <clears throat> yeah, <sighs> I don't know all the things of the finery. Minecraft <laughs> anymore. Well, I'm just going to I'm just going to put dirt. I'm going to build it up with dirt because the way that it works, I think is like this. <laughs> yeah. And so you build um you build steps and then you can just hmm yeah. Then you can just grab from there. I think the, Yeah. If I grab that. Okay, it goes away. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> I like that you can actually walk over these plants now and it doesn't break them. Like yeah. In a very old or very early version of the game when they implemented farming. Like if you no, walked was, over that. That was, that was still a thing right up until uh, um, uh, like 1.9. Oh, really? I think. Yeah. That, yeah, I did not like that. I still kind of avoid farms, but I should learn <laughs> not to. Yeah, it was annoying. It was like, it, it did nothing to add to the game, so I think they were just like, yeah, we're going to scrap that. Yeah. Okay, so we should probably go inside and lock ourselves in for the night. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you don't want to stop, do you? Ah, no, we're good. We could do a double episode of this if you want. Uh, Unless you want to play Terraria. It's up to you. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about it at the break. Which okay. is right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so, I brought uh, us in. So Tim, where can we find you on the internets? All right, well you can find me at uh, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash theater. Find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash theater.com. That's insertcointheater, D-O-T-C-O-M. And uh, I got a new Twitter. Ooh. I changed my Twitter handle. You can find me on Twitter at insertcointim. Insertcointim. Yes. I like it. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> All right. Well, you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Patreon, and YouTube at Ben underscore Burns. That's B U R N E S. I mostly do music stuff, but as we've talked about during the stream, I've started to do other things as well. And I keep calling them streams, even though they're recordings. So 
That's well, cool. It's, it's a little of both, I guess, right? <laughs> you do streams and recordings. Yeah, but this is not a stream. <laughs> True. We use OBS to record it, but yeah. Fair point. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Yep. See you then. Bye. Bye.